Our account executive picked up the phone on the first ring yesterday. Boer Consultants, how may I help you? The caller says, well, did you finally find your phone? Our account executive, not expecting that kind of gruff voice, said, pardon me? The caller said, I said, did you finally find your phone? The account executive, deciding someone must have the wrong number because we don't typically get yelling callers, says, who are you calling? The caller again, I'm calling Boer Consultants. What's your website? Or don't you have one? The account executive says, yes, sir, we do. It's Boer.com, B-O-O-H-E-R. The caller says, then that's the problem. He slammed down the phone. Now, reading between the lines, our account executive finally determined that the caller must have been upset because he had the wrong website address and had been unable to find us on the web on his initial attempt. Our account exec phoned our receptionist to discover that the phone had run only three times on her desk, granted more than we like, and before she could hang up on another call and pick up this customer's call, it had rolled to the account exec who had picked it up on the fourth ring. Thus, that angry comment from the caller, Did you finally find your phone? The point of the story. Customers are growing more and more impatient, even when their calls are handled live, even when the questions are answered completely, and even when information is sent promptly. When the pace accelerates, and their web search presents problems for them, they become irate. Even family and friends become testy when you become pesky by the customer's definition. And their definition is what counts. If you're slow, they consider you bothersome. Speed serves as a key measure of quality communication. When one hour dry cleaning, 30 minute pizza delivery, two minute LASIK surgery, and texting in syllables because words take too long, people judge the quality of our communication by our responsiveness. When you contact a vendor or potential supplier, how fast do you expect a response? What's the norm for your responses to customer emails and return calls and proposals?